I'm not depressed. Could a depressed person get up, go to work, and deal with everyone else's problems all day, every day, until you're nearly crushed by the collective emotional weight of it all? I don't think so. Should I try to de-escalate the situation and just apologize, even though he's the one who's been throwing hurtful words in my face? Or do I counsel him on his clear underlying emotional issues? Or should I make a pithy joke to lighten the atmosphere? Or do I leave now and cut him out of my life forever as though he had never been born? I can't tell you my resolution. What if I fail? and then you become witness to my shame. It's just so great to be away from my responsibilities at work. I've got my email at work set up with the out of office auto reply. I left my laptop at home. I can just relax. But maybe I should just check my email really quick, you know, just to make sure like no one's trying to get a hold of me. My Saturday is booked completely solid with hangouts with all my different friend groups, high school friends, college friends, work friends. Inevitably, I'm gonna get burned out by the early afternoon and have to cancel on everyone for the rest of the day, making me seem like a terrible friend. It just felt wrong to say no to anybody's invitation. All right, I think I've solved all of their relationship problems in one essay length text, send. But I should probably follow that up with IDK, shrug emoji, because I don't wanna be responsible for accidentally ruining someone's life. Send. Tell me a little about yourself. Just tell me who you want me to be and I'll be that. I'm sorry for getting frustrated with you, but the fact that you can't read my mind and understand my side of things is upsetting. I thought you knew me, that's all. Overly sensitive people pleaser, okay. <laughs> Guys, you got me guilty as charged. But seriously, it's important not to put too much stock into these stereotypes because, you know, maybe it could hurt someone's feelings. Are we done here? Okay, thanks. Get this microphone. Can someone help me? I can't get the microphone off. Uh, I made it through the first day and no one told me that I'm a massive fraud who doesn't deserve to be here. Take that, imposter syndrome. <laughs> well, until tomorrow at least. She is just so amazing. I mean, she's got a lot of very deep character flaws and there are some major red flags that I am ignoring, but I see the potential. She just needs someone to save her from herself. I want you all to feel welcome in my classroom, so the door is always open. Except when it's not. And at those times, I'm probably dealing with my own crises. It's really difficult to boil down because it's like there's home me, work me, family me, which is different depending on what side of the family I'm with. It's almost like there's no real me. <laughs> Is this game leaving anyone else feeling totally hopeless and empty? Just me? All right, let's keep playing. Let's keep having fun, guys. Wow, senior year of high school. Just 10 short years ago, all I cared about was getting some sprinkles on my ice cream and getting home in time to watch Arthur. And now look at me. One year closer to inevitable death. Yeah, I like working here. I mean, is it my dream job? No, but... Is the money good? No. But do I like working with the people here? They're hit and miss. But am I making a difference in the world? Not really. But do they have a good benefits plan? Sort of. I mean, I don't have dental, but... I am really trying to hold it together because no one has ever really seen me lose my cool before, and I want to maintain the facade that I'm always in control. Not to mention an all-around nice guy, right? Am I holding it in all right? Can you tell I'm freaking out on the inside? And turns out I'm at the wrong airport. Again. I understand you don't think this could work out between us. And I know you don't think there's anyone out there who could love a beautiful girl like you who has been broken by tragedy. But what if I told you that's exactly my type? Everyone else's problems all day. So the joke is that I compulsively take care of others at the expense of myself. Is this supposed to be funny or depressing?